Hello, in today's lesson we're going to look at learning a technique called a hammer on and a pull off. We're going to use an exercise called the finger gym for you to master this technique. Um, you'll see it in hundreds and hundreds of riffs and songs, so once you get this technique down, you'll use it for the rest of your life. Okay, so first of all then, what is a hammer on and what is a pull off? I'll just explain that to you. Easier for me to demonstrate it than um, to try and explain it to you in words. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to put our first finger down on the first fret here. So this is the first part of the actual exercise we're going to do. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to pick that with our, with our right hand. So we're going to pick this note, the low E string. And then we're going to hammer, okay? So we're going to use our second finger to hammer in front of the first finger to create a note, okay? We're aiming for just before the fret wire there. And we're aiming just there every single time. And we're going to hammer. And that note's going to ring out without us re-picking it with the right hand. That's the important bit about the hammer on, okay? It allows you to get from one note to the next without re-picking uh, the note with the right hand, okay? So it takes the edge of the pick out of the, out of the plane, okay? So we'll start here, fret number one. I pick that once. Then I hammer with my second finger. What we're aiming for is we're aiming for the first and the second note to be sort of similar volume, okay? We don't want a really loud first note and a really quiet second note, okay? So that's something just to practice to get the hang of that. So don't re-pick it. So pick it once, and then hammer. Okay, so that's a hammer on. Before we move on, I'll explain the pull-off, and then we can talk, we go through the whole finger gym exercise. If we put the two fingers down now, the finger one and finger two, so finger one on fret one of the low E string, finger two on fret two of the low E string, and if I pick uh, that one now on the low E string, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to pull off. So I'm going to flick my finger as I pick the note. I'm going to flick my finger downwards, okay? So I'm just going to flick it. It's called a pull off, but it's best to describe it as a flick, really, because you flick your finger down. So you flick the string down and you land on the string below, okay? So it should look like this. Okay, so you flick the string. And without re picking it again, I've created that number note, num note number one to ring out. I've allowed that to ring out, so. Okay, it's good to say as well, you can do a hammer on um, and a pull off to an open note. Okay, so an open note or an open string is just simply a note with no fretted fingers on. So like something like, I'll do it on the high string, it might sound a bit better, so up there. I can hammer on to that note, okay, and create a hammer on again. So watch that, so I'm gonna do a hammer to fret three on the high E string, have a try with me. So open E string. And then I hammer on to the fretboard. Secret with this is not to come from a big height, okay, so not from here. So if you come from a big height, you've got more chance of missing the string. So the secret of this is trying to keep your finger quite close to the string, close enough, um, you know, so you're ready to hammer on, but not close enough where you're catching, catching the string. So just far enough away, like that. Okay, and it's all to do the pressure that you apply down on the fretboard after you've done the hammer-on technique. So that's the hammer-on. And the pull-off is just like the opposite. So my finger starts on fret three, and then I flick it down to an open string, so. So have a go at that with me. Pick number three, and then flick your finger down. Okay, you probably want to try that a good four or five times till you get the hang of that technique, because um, it's different to a fretted note than it is to an open string, but you want to master all of those really, so you can do an open string and, and fretted notes. Okay, so now you know what a hammer on is and what a pull off is, we can carry on with the whole exercise, which is the finger gym. Uh, the finger gym is designed to make sure that all of your fingers on your left hand um, you know, are up to the level where they can they can do a hammer on and pull off when it comes up in a song. Okay, um, you don't want a part to come up in a song where a hammer on or a pull off comes comes up, and you have to spend a long, long time practicing the technique because it's not quite right. You're better off practicing that separately in this little exercise, and then when it comes up in a song, you'll master it quite quickly. Okay, so finger Jim's going to warm up the whole hand of the left hand, uh, finger one, two, three, and four, um, and what you're going to do is you're going to put your first finger down on fret number one of the low E string, like we just did a second ago, and we're going to hammer to fret number two, okay, with our second finger. And we're going to do that across the whole of the guitar, so the A string, the D string, the G string, the B string, and the E string, and then back down again as well. Um, this is going to warm up all your fingers, and the whole exercise um, should be done continuously, okay? So you might have to take a little break when you first start out because you might think, oh, my hand is on fire, it's really hurting. If it's just like a muscular ache, that's a good. That's good. It means you're making progress, and it's it's, it's good feeling. If it's it's a pain or it really hurts, and obviously just stop. Okay, so you're the judge of that. Um, so we're gonna start on finger number one, fret number one, a low E string. I'm gonna pick that one, hammer to fret two, and I'm gonna go all the way down. So here we go. Got to the top. I'm gonna come back down again. 
I'm aiming for all of my notes to be of similar volume, okay, so near the same volume, so the first note and the second note to be of the same volume. So that's finger one and two with fret one and two. This is really easy to remember this exercise because the fingers correspond to the fret numbers. So now we've warmed up finger one and two, we're going to move on to finger two and three, and that goes with the frets, fret two and three. So here we go. All the way up, back down. Great. And then finger three and four on fret three and four. This is the hard one because you're a little wobbly little, little finger, but we'll struggle to do this maybe. Great, so that's fingers three and four. So we've done one, two, two and three, three and four, okay? We're gonna do all finger combinations. So the next combination we're gonna do is one and three. This is a bit more of a stretch. You might wanna try experiment with dropping the thumb down on the back of the neck because you're always trying to reach for that fret wire every time. With the thumb up here, it restricts your hand. And as you can see, I'm not quite making it to the fret wire. So by dropping my thumb down like that on the back of the neck, the hand opens up and you can get your third finger right up to the fret, fret wire there, okay? So this is fingers one and three, fret one and three. Great, here comes the hard one then. This is fingers one and four, fret one and four. So this one's a stretch. Um, feel a bit odd to begin with, but you'll get used to it. Drop the thumb down again so you can reach out, okay? So finger one to finger four, fret one and, and fret four. Very good, hopefully you're keeping up so far, doing really well. Uh, and then now we're gonna do fingers combination finger two and four with fret two and four. So these two. Okay, yours might not sound like this straight away. You might have some buzzy notes and some, some notes that are not ringing out. Spend the time with it, okay? I'm, I'm trying to show you the exercise quite quickly so you can get, you can, you can get cracked straight on with it. But, it, you know, yours might not sound like that to begin with, so just take your time and get the notes sounding nice and clean and, and not too fast. Uh, there we go, that's two and four. Next combination then we're gonna do is one, two, three. So this one's a bit harder now. So we're gonna use fingers one, two, and finger three. So we're gonna hammer from one to two, then to three. Trick here is trying to get, as I said, all the notes of a consistent volume, so that's tricky. Here we go. Okay, and here's the super, super hard one. If your hand's really aching now, you can stop, have a little bit of a rest. But if you feel up for it, you think, yeah, I'm ready for this, give it to me. So it's one, two, three, and four. So it's a big stretch, this one. So we're gonna go. Okay, and you've made it to the end of the exercise with the hammer-ons. I'm going to play you the whole exercise really, really quickly so you can see once you get the hang of it, this is how you want to do it as a continuous exercise. Don't feel bad if you stop off halfway along and you think one and three and your hand starts to ache. That's absolutely fine. The more you practice this, next time you come and practice, try and get to one and four. Try and get to the next one. Um, and it's just all about endurance. The more you practice it, the more your hands get used to doing the stretches, the easier it will become. Okay, so here's the whole exercise. Quite quickly played for you, the whole exercise. It takes a while to get that control of your fingers between one, two, three, and four. Don't feel bad about it. Keep practicing it. It's something that's gonna be in your practice routine for a little while until you've mastered it, okay? So that's the finger gym for hammer-ons. In the next video, we'll look at the finger gym for pull-offs. Okay, guys, hope you spent some time working out the, the finger gym for the hammer-ons. We're now gonna look at the finger gym for the pull-offs. It's exactly the same. It's just sort of in an opposite order because a hammer-on and a pull-off are sort of opposites, okay? Uh, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna use the same fret, so one, two, three, and four. Same fingers, one, two, three, and four. Um, 
but it's just a slightly different technique. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put our fingers one and two on frets one and two. All right, so two fingers on it once. Then I'm going to pick the low E string at this end with the right hand. And I'm going to flick the string to create our pull off, like I explained in the in the first part of the video. Okay. If you haven't quite got that yet, just master that technique first, getting the pull off to ring out, and then have a go at this. All right. Uh, here we go then. So we're going to do finger two to finger one. We're going to pull off and go all the way down and back up like we did earlier for the hammer ons. Okay, that's fingers one and two. Now two and three. We're going to on frets two and three. We're going to pull off from three to two. Here we go. Finger three to finger two. Be careful when you do these techniques not to bend the string because I've seen a lot of this. I see a lot of this quite regularly. So where you sort of bend the string as you do it, too much effort when you do it. So you just try not to bend the string. Try and keep the string quite sort of straight to the fretboard. Uh, okay, so that's two and three. Very good. Uh, three and four. This one felt a bit wobbly, I expect, because the little fingers getting involved now. So four to three. We're going to pull off from four to three. Okay, here comes the stretchy one, so thumb, remember drop the thumb down on the back of the neck. Um, lots to think about when you first start. When it becomes a, a muscle memory thing, you, you won't think about it at all. As soon as you think of a hammer on, you'll know that you're doing a stretch, it's coming up in the song, your hand will instinctively just drop down, your thumb will just drop down on the back of the neck. Okay, at the moment it's lots of thought processing, oh I've got to move that down, but it will become, you know, um, just a, you know automatic response, okay? So fingers one and three, fret uh, one and three, I'm gonna pull off from three to one, here we go. Okay, big stretch now coming up, so here's four to one. If you have to stop off in any of these on the way along, so that's absolutely fine. If your hand starts to ache a little bit, just give it a shake off and then carry on, pick back up. So here's four and one, big stretch, thumb down. Okay, here comes the, uh, the next one then. So this is two and four, fret two and four, so we're gonna pull off from four to two. Now to me, that one feels the, the hardest on the hand. I can feel that real, really stretching between the second and fourth fingers. Okay, you might find that one and four is quite quite tricky, but I find that two and four is for me is the hardest one to, to do. It feels the most awkward for me to do. Uh, next one then, so we're gonna do fingers one, two, and three. So we're getting real hard now. So here's one, two, and three. We're gonna pull off from three to two to one. All right, here we go. <laughs> Okay, and then this is the super, super hard one. So don't feel bad if you don't get to this point and your hand's already aching. It's four to three to two to one. Okay, so it's all your four fingers. Here we go. Now, especially on these last ones, so three uh, to one and four to one, uh, and the four, three, two, one, so the harder ones, if you're not getting them to the notes consistent across the board, if you can, just, just try and break them down. So like. Into their movements, okay? So they're just going like. Yeah, just try and break them down, try and keep them consistent volume and good levels across as you do the technique, all right? Uh, so that's the whole thing then, okay? So I'm gonna do a quick playthrough so you can, uh, you can see the whole exercise uh, in practice. Here we go then. Okay, when you practice it, 
that's just for demonstration purposes to see where you can take this you know when you get a bit more advanced and stuff but when you practice this just do it super super slow and you do not need to do it that quick at all so just practice it really really slow um, and just get to you know get to grips with the technique first of all so hopefully after these watching these two videos you'll see that you know how to do a hammer on and how to do a pull off I'll see you in the next clip